I integrate BI and EPM? Because it's better together. You know, that's the real messaging. If you combine them together, you get, uh, you know, basically four core benefits. Uh, you know, there's a lot more unique benefits, unique value props. What we're going to focus specifically on four key components. It's a complete view of your enterprise analytics. It is a way to be more proactive rather than reactive, okay? Uh, being able to increase user adop adoption and also being able to leverage the most out of your Oracle investment by really looking at how we can stay in tune with the Oracle roadmap to take advantage of new functionality coming down the pipe. So really in completeness of vision, you know, how we used to do this was, oh, well, there's a tool for doing backward query analysis. There's another tool for doing analysis and another tool for doing modeling. That's not very complete. That's very siloed, okay? Being able to have one complete view of your entire business process from your strategic to your tactical, from past looking to forward looking, being able to use OBIE for all of those various functionalities is extremely helpful. It really gives you one stop shopping, one complete view of your entire uh, analytics. To be more proactive versus reactive, what is happening? What are the top 10 markets? How can we improve? How can we increase promotional lift, you know, by 10% in our top 10 markets? That's where BI really shifts into that EPM, into that what if analytic environment. So being able to combine those, we're no longer having to use, you know, the analytical environment for reporting or just the reporting and then pick up different tools. We're able to bring these together to provide that complete business process. Another example, what is happening? What are our store sales? Good example of BI. What happens to our store uh, sales per store if inventory increases 5%? Okay, so being proactive versus reactive, you know, is really where combining these two platforms come into play, really provide a tremendous lift to your overall profitability, and also then to increase user adoption. You'll get, you know, user pushback, you know, uh, specifically if you go to them and say, oh yeah, well, if you want to look at this type of question, you've got to use this tool. And if you want to use a, ask a different question, you have to use a different tool. Users will just look at IT like they've lost their mind. They want one common portal to consume what, all that information, whether it's forward looking, backward looking, you know, transactional in nature from planning or consolidation from EPM, you know, and from F space, what if scenarios. They really want one common metric, one common language, you know, to increase the value of what they're trying to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's the reason, you know, Oracle has really uh, done a tremendous job of bringing OBIE into, you know, full parity of anything Hyperion used to have for a reporting tool on top of S-Space for enterprise reporting. So the fourth reason really is, you know, hey, if we align to Oracle's roadmap, we're then taking advantage of leveraging that common information model the way it's intended. So why is, you know, aligning ourselves to the Oracle roadmap even relevant? It's because by doing so, we're setting ourselves up for future successes by 
you know, if we're leveraging mobile today and tablet as new a applications, new things come online, you know, we're not painting ourselves into a corner, okay? Um, this is important because I know people get very, very passionate about some of the tools that they have implemented and been very successful with, you know, but at times we need to look to the future to align our new projects, our new strategies, or even, you know, take advantage of leveraging the most out of the software. And to do that, we really are leveraging to the Oracle roadmap. A single integrated role app, which is relational, you know, uh, analytics, and mole app, which is multidimensional analytics. Being able to combine all of those together into, whether it be just ODIEE, SA, scorecarding, mobile, into one end user experience. You also have that capability of putting, uh, you know, OBIE directly on top of the uh, EPM applications. That is very much Oracle strategic direction. You have Oracle's S-based application link for Hyperion Financial Management, which facilitates that specific purpose. You can spin off S-based cubes to make them very accessible within OBIEE. And of course, Hyperion Planning is, you know, S-based centric. So the strategic direction is to, and this is, you know, uh, straight from Oracle, what they've communicated to the marketplace and to, you know, us as a uh, pillar partner for the user experience, the really visualization and navigation aids to fully leverage SmartView, you know, for mobile, a completeness of mobile functionality, for OBI and S-based integration, the, you know, aggregate persistence, cube spinning. Now, we've already done cube spinning with uh, several customers. We'll use some of those even in our reference, uh, you know, case studies. But a cube spinning is basically to say, hey, when you've got a BI application, which is pre-built content for OBIE, such as like financials, and you've got a geo balances subject area in a BI application data warehouse. Hit this button over here and spin off an S based cube so that I can get all the value of adding a what if scenario, doing slice and dice within the Excel add in, and have all that benefit without having all the work. Really leveraging those two together. A single admin for metadata integration. We already see a lot of the you know, uh, administration being uh, assimilated into one common framework and infrastructure for full estates on Exolytics. Really being able to provide not only software but hardware prepackaged, tuned together for space and OBIE to come literally out of the box. Plug it in and you're ready to go. So, you know, why, why is this important? You know, lower development life cycles, you know, and greater user adoption, cloud deployment, basically it all drives to total cost of ownership, a lower cost to the users and to the ICT departments that are implementing this. So really going back and reiterating, where it's providing a complete, uh, complete view a holistic view for our end users to consume everything in one place. It really combines and integrates the proactive versus reactive mode of reporting and analytics. It'll increase user adoption, you know, um, and we'll also align ourselves to take more advantage of Oracle and the Oracle roadmap going forward.